1.5. 1.5 might be the most important number in human history. Why? Scientists warn that the global temperature increase beyond 1.5 degrees Celsius could lead to catastrophic climate change incidents. Last year, we surpassed that threshold. In February 2024, it has been confirmed that the 1.5 degrees Celsius has been preached for the full 12 months for the first time. But does this mean that we are too late? No. The 1.5 target is an average figure over a decade. Are we far from that? No, we are dangerously close and the time to act is now. Net Zero Emissions Explained The term net zero emissions has been widely used recently in the fight against climate change. But what does this term mean? Emissions refer to greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxides, and fluorinated gases. Net zero doesn't mean zero emissions. The term net is very important because it is nearly impossible to reduce all emissions to zero. Net involves balancing the total amount of greenhouse gases emitted with an equivalent amount removed from the atmosphere. So to get to net zero, we need to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and balance any remainder emissions with emission removals. Why aim for net zero by 2050? Because it aligns with the global target of limiting global warming by 1.5 degrees Celsius. Net zero versus carbon neutral. As conversations around the climate grow louder, buzzwords like net zero and carbon neutral are being used to describe the steps to combat climate change. When businesses talk about carbon neutral, they often refer to accounting for carbon emissions and taking steps to offset them by investing in carbon sinks that absorb CO2. This balancing practice is known as carbon offsetting and could involve planting new trees or investing in renewable energy projects. On the other hand, achieving net zero means that the company needs to reduce its absolute emissions across its supply chain to align with the 1.5 degrees Celsius global warming. Carbon offsets are often utilized for a small remainder of the unavoidable emissions. Net zero is similar in principle to carbon neutrality, but it is expanded in scale and is essential to stay within a 1.5 degrees target. What is a carbon budget? Think of it as a financial budget, but for carbon dioxide emissions. It's the maximum amount of CO2 emissions we can emit to keep global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius. Imagine a cake representing the total amount of CO2 emissions we can emit. Each slice is a carbon budget for a different sector like industry, transportation, buildings, and others. If someone takes too much, there won't be enough left for everyone. To ensure everyone gets their share and plays the role, we need to work towards net zero emissions across all sectors. This means reducing emissions and balancing the remainder CO2 emissions we remove from the atmosphere. Carbon budgets are vital tools for climate change analysis across countries, companies, sectors, and even individuals. Have you ever thought of calculating your carbon budget?